To be frank, Order 66 sucked. We watched as many of our beloved Jedi were slaughtered, Anakin's descent to the dark side, and of course the clones we had known and loved become brainwashed into killing them. All of this due to Chancellor Palpatine and his hidden agenda. Although the Republic had its flaws and Order 66 was an unexpected plot twist in the Star Wars franchise, it still doesn't stop our nagging curiosity as to why the Jedi did not see this coming, and why certain events that alluded to Order 66 were met with utter ignorance. In this video we will be explaining three moments where the Jedi, with just a little bit more intuition, could have uncovered the plot, overthrown Palpatine, and restored order to the Republic. Obi-Wan Kenobi was one of the most intelligent Jedi in the Order, alongside with Yoda. Throughout the Star Wars films and the Clone Wars TV show, we see Anakin and Padme develop feelings for each other, and thus they harbored a secret relationship that if found out would get Anakin banished from the Jedi Order, as well as tarnish Padme's name in the Republic. In the film and TV show alike, Obi-Wan Kenobi behaves in a manner that alludes to him being aware of the relationship Anakin and Padme have. You may be asking how this relates to the prevention of Order 66, and here's the answer. Obi-Wan Kenobi was an extremely intelligent individual, and could read people with ease. This is what made him such a calm and composed person who could negotiate well. Obi-Wan saw through Anakin and saw his love for Padme with ease, and he also saw a darker, confused side of Anakin that he chose to ignore. This all intertwines as if Obi-Wan Kenobi chose to put the Jedi Order above his Jedi Padawan bond he had with Anakin, and had reported this to the Jedi Council, Anakin would have been banished. This would have created a chain reaction that would have saved the Jedi Order. Firstly, Mace Windu would have caught Chancellor Palpatine off guard like he did in the movie. However, this time there would be no interference from Anakin. Mace Windu, being one of the strongest fighters in the galaxy due to his fighting style known as Vapard, would have been able to kill Palpatine before Order 66 would have been ready to execute therefore saving the galaxy from the devastating impacts of Order 66. Although Obi-Wan was not in any regards an oblivious Jedi, he let his relationship with his Padawan stop him from creating a butterfly effect route that would have saved the galaxy from the tyranny of the Empire. In Season 6, Star Wars The Clone Wars, the first few episodes are centered around Clone Trooper Tup's faulty inhibitor chip, and the only person being able to figure out what it all meant being Clone Trooper 5's. When Tup's chip malfunctions and he kills a Jedi in an entranced state of mind, Palpatine realizes that if the Jedi were to do an analysis on Tup, it would be all over. He therefore sends Separatist forces to kidnap Tup and take him to Dooku. However, just before that happens, Tup is recaptured by Anakin Skywalker 5s and Rex, and is taken to Kamino. There are then a string of suspicious events that conspire in Kamino, such as Nala Se switching the inhibitor chip cases in an attempt to stop the inhibitor chip from reaching the Jedi Temple. Fives realized something wasn't right and did all in his power to stop Order 66 from happening until he met his very sad demise at the hands of Commander Fox. Brother. Call for help! We need a medic! <sighs> Rex. <sighs> Fives. This. It's. Bigger than any of us. Than anything I could have imagined. I, I never meant to. I only wanted to do my duty. Brother. Vice. Stay with me, Vice. Vice! The mission. The nightmares. They're finally over. Vice. No, Vice. Come on, Vice. Don't go stay with me. Stay with me. Vice. Fight. Don't go. Oh, no. The reason this whole episode of events could have led to the prevention of Order 66 is that if the Jedi that was stationed on Kamino, Shuck T, had the intuition of Fives and realized the lies and deception of Nala Se were the work of a conspiracy. She could have notified the Jedi Council, and they would have immediately examined the inhibitor chip and foiled the Chancellor. However, due to Shakti's naivety, she tried to capture Fives after Palpatine claimed that Fives had tried to kill him. Fives then desperately tried to tell Rex and Anakin before being shot. Anakin, already with a clouded mind, did not reflect on the last words of Fives. Captain Rex was the only one to see the truth in Fives' words, and ended up removing his inhibitor chip as well as convincing clones Wolf and Gregor to do the same. When the Jedi Order eventually realized the extent of Chancellor Palpatine's plan, they still had ample time to stop it. 
The traditional order of events that panned out after the realization of Palpatine's treachery to the Republic was Mace Windu making the rash decision to bring three other Jedi in an attempt to arrest Palpatine himself. This then led to all the Jedi but Mace dying and then a duel ensuing in which Mace Windu wins. However, an unstable Anakin enters and insists Mace puts him on trial, instead of killing him. Palpatine then convinces Skywalker to join the dark side and therefore, with Anakin's help, they kill Windu. If Mace Windu had not been so rash and looked at all the angles first, including Anakin's obvious instability and his ability to contact the Security Council to initiate Order 65, rendering Order 66 useless, the entire Star Wars franchise would have played out differently. If Mace Windu had taken the time simply to contact the Security Council instead of impulsively arresting Palpatine, the order known as 65 would have been enacted. Order 65 is the order that entails all units of the Grand Republic Army to view the Chancellor as a threat to the Republic, therefore giving any unit the authority to arrest him, or if necessary, execute him. If Palpatine still tried to execute Order 66, it would not have worked, as the clones would already have Order 65 running. In saying this, Mace Windu, whilst he was a tremendously skilled fighter, he was very obnoxious in the way he handled the situation with Palpatine. And thus, he got himself supposedly killed at the hands of a very confused and angry Anakin Skywalker. These were only the major differences that could have affected the way Episode 3 panned out. There were innumerable amounts of times Palpatine's frail plan could have shattered. However, due to the ignorance of some members of the Jedi Order, this did not happen. And thus, the grand plan went on.